Winsor & Newton has a variety of alkyd mediums called liquin, which are made by taking a naturally derived oil, like linseed oil or soy oil, and chemically treating it with alcohol and acid, which is where the name comes from. If you take the first part of alcohol and the last part of acid, you get the word alkyd. And what the alkyds do is they speed the drying rate of a conventional oil up by about 50%. So if you, uh, if you take them, they'll dry in about 2 to 12 days oils normally, and that'll take that time down to about 1 to 6 days, depending upon the pigment. And you have to remember that's touch dry, so you'd still want to wait about 6 to 12 months depending on the thickness of your paint layer before you put that final varnish on. Liquin originally is the first liquin produced, and you can see that it's quite fluid. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take up a portion of about two parts of oil to one part liquin. And what that's going to do is it's going to reduce its consistency. And look how fluid that gets. It gets nice and fluid, it gets very, very rich color, improves the flow. It'll also increase film durability, so when I apply it onto the canvas, it's going to make it more durable, adhere even better, increase the flexibility, and give it a semi-gloss semi finish to it. And it would be similar to, if we were dealing with uh, drying oils, it would be similar to a linseed oil. It would have all those great properties, but it would dry faster. This painting I use Liquid Original because I want to get the paint to flow more. Oil paint out of the tube can be a bit short, sort of a stiff consistency. This was done on location and what I wanted to do is work very quickly uh, from this live setting and work wet into wet. So it took that original stiff consistency and loosened that up so I could really move the paint around quickly, get these very simple abstracted shapes and get the desired effect that I wanted. Liquid Fine Detail, as the name suggests, is for fine detail work and it's more fluid than liquid original quite a bit more you can see that and it's going to increase transparency it's going to dry to a gloss finish and it'll level your brush strokes so when you want to get into detail work and you don't want the brush strokes to show this is a really great choice so in other words a uh, portrait work or any other small work like that where you you want to make sure that once you sort of feather out the edges there's no brush strokes at all Great choice is Liquid Fine Detail. Liquid Fine Detail was my medium of choice for this painting because it's both a small painting and technically it's a tight painting, meaning that I had a lot of little tiny fine details that I wanted to get, particularly in the upper part of the bag. I also had a lot of glazing that I wanted to do with the pair here, glazing of colors. And the Liquid Fine Detail is ideal for speeding the drying rate and being able to do several glazing layers. Liquid Light Gel is a gel medium, so I'm actually going to use a palette knife to get some out of the bottle right there, and you can see very easily that it's a lot thicker than the other two mediums that I just showed you. And I'm going to take a, some paint right here and mix it in with this. And it's what we'd call thixotropic, which is really just a big word for saying that it starts out very gel-like, but as I push it around and I manipulate it here, it starts to become much, much more fluid. And that's kind of nice because when I'm brushing it out and I have my canvas vertically, what will happen is it won't drip down the surface. So I can take this here, brush out some beautiful marks here, and I can get into a lot of blending and glazing, and it'll dry to a very nice gloss finish. The other thing I should mention as well is that the liquid family of mediums now comes in plastic bottles, uh, which is great, particularly for colleges uh, where they don't want breakage in the studio with the old glass bottles. Liquid light gel is similar to liquid fine detail, but it's obviously a gel-like consistency, and that's nice because I have so many subtle passages in this portrait of different colors that I wanted to blend wet into wet, and the gel-like consistency keeps it from running or dripping down the painting as I'm working. Liquid impasto has a very stiff consistency, which is why it comes in a tube so it can be squeezed out, and it'll retain its texture and its brush strokes as well. And the brush strokes will retain these crisp high peaks, so I can take, a, take some paint here, some color, and mix that right into it. You can see already how that adds volume to the paint. And it'll also stay workable for several hours, but what's amazing to me about it is that you can see how very, very thick it is, yet it'll start to set up within a day or so. Liquid impasto is great when you want to achieve thick, rich impasto brush marks that keep their crisp texture. Liquid oleo pasto also comes in a tube and it looks similar. However, the difference is that it's going to dry to a semi matte finish. And I'll mix in the color here again a little bit. And that's different 
than the other liquid mediums because it's going to dry more quickly and it's going to thicken rapidly. And the brush strokes, although very thick, will level out. And that's different than the liquid impasto, whereas the liquid impasto is going to retain the crisp high peaks, the liquid oleo pasta will level out a bit more. Still have this beautiful thick texture. Liquid oleo pasta is similar to liquid impasto in that it will leave very thick brush strokes, very nice impasto brush strokes, except they won't dry to the crisp edge. They'll sort of level out and have more of a rounded, softer feeling. So when you're at the end of a painting like this and you want to develop big thick areas and overpaint, it's a really nice choice for doing so. So remember, with all the liquid mediums, you can mix the paint to liquid in a ratio of about two to one. And that allows you to change the consistency, which is the key to mediums. Nice thing about them is you can get them to be ultra flowing. You can get them to level out brush strokes or leave nice texture in different sheens like semi-gloss or gloss and have the desired consistency and sheen that you want.